All right, so while we're waiting for uh, the servers to become more stable and the bugs to get worked out, um, I have a quick little exercise that uh, is a new way to practice barrel rolls, barrel yaws, and skidded rolls. So here we go. So you know, like barrel roll, you put the um, you put the reference point, which we're going to use where the laser is hitting the planet. Uh, on the right side of your screen, this is for a normal traditional barrel roll, and uh, you pitch and roll so you rotate around it, and you keep that reference point on uh, anchored on the side of your screen. So everything's going to rotate around it. And what I'm doing is this is helping to kind of prove that I'm making like a big, like kind of spirally motion, and. Uh, you know, it's just a, a way to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. So I'm I'm basically doing a, a spiral around the uh, the terraforming beam here. So that's pretty cool. And then remember that the reference point. Well, there's the bottom. Warning. So you just flip, and now you use the top of the terraformer beam. So remember the the distance between your nose, which is where the uh, gun crosses, and the reference point is going to determine how wide your spiral is. So if I put it really close to the center but still offset and I just keep it there, so I'm trying to keep it to the right of the uh, the chaff dispenser here, you'll see that first it's much more difficult to do this correctly. And I gotta use a little strafe here or else I'm gonna run into the beam. And uh, also I'm a lot closer to the beam so my um, my uh, my spiral is much much tighter and then you can speed it up like that and that's yep yeah, that's pretty hairy so maybe don't do it quite that uh that tight okay so let's look at the same thing but a barrel yaw so now my reference point remember it's that thing right there is going to be at the top of my screen and i'm going to just use roll and yaw this time so put it at the top roll and yaw and you can see how I can't do it quite as fast now. And the reason for that, um, as fast, I can't do it quite as fast while maintaining the same width as with a, a barrel roll. And that's because the Gladius is so limited on lateral strafe. And this is, uh, despite what you might think, um, this maneuver does use mostly lateral strafe. Even though I'm doing a circle and you'd think that acceleration is in towards the center, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So. You can see it's not Warning. quite as you are wide and as neat of a spiral as with the uh, barrel yaw. So that's why, you know, if you can handle and keep yourself from graying out, it's better to do the uh, barrel roll, uh, especially with the Gladius. Okay, so now skidded roll. Cool, so this is pretty easy. Now I just skid like that. I keep my nose pointed at the reference point and you see my TVI moving so that's the path of my ship and I'm still moving in a circle um, but now I've got my nose pointing towards the center so obviously this is handy because I'm flying in a spiral but I could theoretically shoot um, so that's pretty cool and then if I want to go faster I can a little bit wider I can Woo! it's getting tight Let's do it again. I'll try vertical this time. It's got the same disadvantages as a uh, as a barrel uh, barrel yaw. Get a little closer because I know I'm gonna have to be tighter. Nope, nope. <laughs> I didn't want to go into the beam, so I let myself red out. Okay, what's going on now? So, I'm going to strafe a little bit down, and do my barrel, uh, sorry, my vertically skidded roll. And you can see that it's just, I can tell like the beam's over to my left, but I don't want it to be over to my left, I want it to be above me, so I'm waiting for that lag to work, or for Warning. it to stop lagging out. You are approaching simulation boundary. And I guess because of that reflection, it might be kind of screwing things up. So maybe it's actually better to do it towards the uh, the, 
terraformer here, so I'll just do a little bit of skid. You can see how laterally uh, my lateral thrust is so limited here, so I gotta go super slow uh, compared to the normal horizontally skidded roll or the uh, barrel roll. So, because if I try to go too fast, here's what's going to happen. Oh. All right, so I got my my skid in, and then I'll just try to go fast, and now I'm like. You know, I'm not going around the beam, so I'm just doing like this little arc over here. Basically, I'm not as wide as I should be. And if I just keep doing it, I'll kind of eventually hit this thing. So. Warning. But. You are approaching simulation boundary. Yeah, so just a normal skidded, skidded roll. And you can see how stable my TVI is, as opposed to when I was doing the uh, vertically skated roll. What's the so. button to bring up the mouse again? Alt. 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 So, just works so much better. Cool. Alright, I don't know. Maybe some of you will like that. Just something to practice. See ya.